Okay, today we're dividing x cubed plus 2x squared minus 5x minus 6. We're going to divide that by x minus 2. I'm going to use a process called synthetic division, which is kind of like a shortcut method for doing long division with polynomials. I'm going to start off by identifying the coefficients in my numerator here of my problem. So my first number, I don't see a number out in front of here as a coefficient, but I know it's a number 1. So I'm going to write a 1 just to help guide me. So I have 1, 2, negative 5, and negative 6. I'm going to start off my problem by listing 1, 2, negative 5, and negative 6. So my synthetic division problem looks a little bit different than a traditional long division. But I'm going to show you how to use this particular process. So now I have to figure out, I took my coefficients from my numerator and I listed those inside my problem, but I'm going to have to have something out here. Well, in order to figure that out, I'm going to look at my denominator or my divisor from my problem. So I had x minus 2. Well, I'm going to set that equal to 0. We're going to see what x equals. I add 2 to both sides. It cancels that on the left. x equals 2. Perfect. So I'm going to have a 2 on the outside here. So I've set up my problem. I pulled my coefficients from the numerator. Those went inside. I took my denominator over here. I set it equal to 0 and solved. And that's the number that goes on the outside. Now we can start with the synthetic division process. So to start off, I'm going to take this 1 and I'm simply going to bring it down. I don't have to change it. I just bring it straight down. Now what's going to happen is every number in this bottom row is going to be multiplied by this 2. So in this case, I have 2 times 1. Well, 2 times 1 gives me 2. So I write that up inside. So once I have that 2 written inside the problem, I can see I have two numbers here together in a column. I have to add those. Well, 2 plus 2 gives me 4. So to recap, we started just by bringing the first number down. We know that we take everything on this in this bottom row, and we're going to multiply it by this 2. So now that I have a 1 down there, I took 2 times 1, which gave me 2. I wrote that up here. Then I added these two together. 2 plus 2 is 4. Now that I have a number in my bottom row again, I have to multiply it by 2. So 2 times 4 gives me 8. Now that I have two numbers in the column, I simply add them. Negative 5 plus 8 gives me 3. Again, number in the bottom row, I have to multiply it by the 2. 2 times 3, that gives me 6. That goes up inside here. And then, now that I have two numbers in a column inside the problem, I add them. Negative 6 plus 6 gives me 0. Now this last number here, this is our remainder. You'll know if you've done long division problems before, sometimes they don't divide out evenly and you have a remainder. The same is true in synthetic division. Lucky for us, the remainder is 0, so we don't have to worry about changing anything. We have This divides out evenly. So that means that this x minus 2 is a factor of our original polynomial. So now I have to take these numbers here. These are going to serve as the coefficients for my answer. So I go back up to my original problem. I started with x cubed. I'm going to take one degree less, so I'm going to start with x squared. My first coefficient is 1, so I would have 1x squared, or just x squared. I look to the 4, and I say, okay, since it's positive, it becomes plus 4x. I look to the 3, since it's positive, I say plus 3. So the answer to our division problem is x squared plus 4x plus 3. This divided out evenly, so we had no remainder. That's just one example of synthetic division.